Hi all, my name is Davis and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things tech and today we are going to take a look at not just one but two brand new MSI laptops and we are going to be using these devices to answer a question that has been on literally everybody's minds. I'm sure that you've been seeing artificial intelligence invading the world of consumer technology from AI glasses to AI robots and perhaps at the forefront of this effort is the AI. AI PC, namely Microsoft's Copilot PCs. And while a lot has been said about this new generation of computers, a lot of people are still quite confused as to how AI capabilities will affect the way that we use our computers. So what we are going to do in this video is take a look at what the MSI Summit 13 Plus AI can do with artificial intelligence from a business and productivity standpoint. And then we are going to take a look at the beastly MSI Stealth A16 AI Plus to explore how artificial intelligence improves creative workflows and also a little bit of gaming. And for fun, we are also going to have a tour around these brand new computers as well. But before we start, I would just like to thank MSI for helping me answer this question by sponsoring this video and also for lending me two of their latest AI laptops. And firstly, let's take a look at the Super Sleek Summit 13 Plus AI and have a quick look at the hardware. And basically, this is MSI's premium convertible laptop, which means that while you can use it as a normal laptop, the screen not only folds all the way back, but it actually folds back on itself to turn into a tablet computer. Um, honestly, this is something that I wish all laptops could do. And being a tablet, of course, it is compatible with MSI's Pen 2 that just magnetically snaps onto the side like so. It's very cool. I have to admit that this is perhaps one of the most distinctive looking 13-inch laptops on the market, and that is largely due to this uh, color scheme. On this ink black example, we have these rather fabulous brushed bronze accents on the side that gives you that brilliant premium look. And luckily, that premium look is backed up by the build quality that feels quite solid indeed. And that's something that you definitely need in a computer that converts from a laptop into a tablet computer. The magnesium aluminium alloy chassis especially feels super solid, especially considering how thin the chassis is, and it only weighs 1.35 kilograms. I would also like to comment on how nice the hinge feels and also the structural rigidity of the LCD display panel, which is 16 by 10 in aspect ratio, which is just how I like them and the touchscreen is also rather responsive. But what enables much of the AI capability is what is inside, which is the latest Series 2 Intel Core Ultra 9 288V processor. And what makes it special is that it's got an NPU or neural processing unit that creates a peak of 48 tops or Terra, which is trillion operations per second. And the idea of having an NPU in addition to a integrated GPU and also a CPU, of course, is that the computer can offload much of the the AI related tasks away from the battery and energy intensive GPU to the smaller efficient NPU so that AI tasks can not only run more quickly without sacrificing other things but it can also run more efficiently as well. Microsoft is calling any of these laptops that has these AI capabilities Copilot PCs and you can identify these computers via this Copilot button on the keyboard and when you press this button you get access to the Copilot app which is similar in style to ChatGPT. You can ask it for a variety of things like what is the origin of Father Christmas? Father Christmas has roots in ancient traditions evolving from English folklore where he was a symbol of good cheer during winter festivals. Or you could ask it to suggest Christmas gifts for a five-year-old who loves classic computers or something. For a five-year-old into classic computers, consider a toy like the Fisher-Price Laugh and Learn Game and Learn Controller. It's fun, educational, and has a retro gaming look. Perfect for sparking their interest in classic tech. Thank you, Copilot. And while that is fun, what I want to show you is how AI can be used in the business and productivity world. Okay, so let's say that I need to write a report that's due this afternoon, and I just need something to work from. So let's go inside Microsoft Word, and I'm going to ask Copilot to write a 1,000 word report on Christmas shopping habits in Australia, focusing on online sales. 
and we can see that Copilot is now generating what looks like a fairly detailed report. Okay, so while this looks very good indeed, obviously we can fine tune this a little bit later. But what I would say that we need is to add an image to this, maybe a nice sketch of Australia to jazz things up. So what I can do is open the new Microsoft Paint and I can ask it to generate a sketch of Australia that I can then include inside the report. Wow, the new image creator feature really is quite useful. And let's just say that I want to include an image of who actually wrote the report. So let's add an image of myself. But before then, let's use AI to remove the background. And what iconic image should I put myself in front of? Uh, yes, how about the famous rolling green hills, just like in the famous Windows XP Bliss wallpaper. And wow, doesn't that look snazzy? And there we go, a report written in around five minutes. So now let's show you a couple more examples of how AI can be used in an office environment. So let's just say that there's this really annoying YouTuber that you just need to watch for your job for some reason, and you just can't stand listening to them. Well, luckily you've got a feature called live transcriptions. With this feature, enabled you can have automatic transcriptions to just about any audio that you are playing on your computer and this means that if you've downloaded a video from a dodgy website or if you are watching a live stream you can still be getting captions so that you don't have to do any actual listening and of course this all utilizes the NPU so it's super efficient it doesn't put any additional stress on the CPU or GPU and now I would like to talk about the horror of zoom calls yep unfortunately it's just something that hasn't left our lives since COVID. People just can't be bothered traveling hours to have a half hour meeting anymore for some reason. <laughs> anyway, so with Zoom calls, people seem to have fallen in love with things like blowing backgrounds. But the thing is, is that it's very resource intensive. So if you're working off a laptop, you can see your battery life fall significantly and you can also hear your fan blowing up. With the NPU features like background blur, green screen and even eye contact correct will no longer make your fans spin wildly. And what's even better than that is that when it's your time to talk, there is AI powered noise cancellation as well, so that you will finally be audible even if there is a shouting match in the boardroom next door. So you can see just how useful these AI features are in an office environment. But before we take a look at some of the more intensive tasks on the Stealth, something that is common to both of these laptops is the MSI AI engine that can be found within the MSI Center app. And essentially what this does is use artificial intelligence to adjust the hardware settings to achieve the best possible performance and battery life depending on the situation. So when you are running an intensive app like Premiere Pro, let's say the profile of the computer will adjust to a more performance oriented mode and when you are on something simple like a zoom call where you probably don't want a fan blaring in the background the computer will intelligently know to stay silent like how good is that it's subtle but very smart and with this AI running in the background battery life can be extended as well okay so now that we've had a look at the summit 13 AI plus let's take a look at the computer that we've all clicked on this video to see the Stealth 16 AI Plus. And what a beastly computer this is. This is literally one of the coolest and most capable computers I have ever tested. And despite this having a massive 16 inch display and despite having a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery, which is literally the largest size that you can bring onto a flight, it is surprisingly lightweight at just 2.1 kilograms. And it's relatively slim as well that's just under two centimeters in thickness. So you can still carry this around in your average messenger bag quite effectively. And before we talk about just what this computer is capable of, I just want to point out the display because it's literally one of the most stunning displays that I've ever seen on a laptop. It's 16 by 10 in aspect ratio. And you can either get an OLED or mini LED display like this one. And if I were buying, I would probably get this mini LED one because not only is it nice and 
and matte. It's really pretty, but it's also super bright. It can reach a peak HDR brightness of 1000 nits. It's 4K in resolution, does 120 hertz, and covers the entire DCI-P3 color gamut. So it's completely stunning and perfect for things like video editing and color correction. And um, it also doesn't have some of the sacrifices that you find on an OLED display. In fact, this display is so nice that I just want to keep this laptop to be honest. So uh, maybe don't tell MSI that. But of course, that isn't what we are here to talk about. Because what we're here to talk about is what's inside this laptop and what it can do. So inside this laptop, we've got the AMD Ryzen AI HX370 with a total of 80 AI tops. And in addition to that, we also have a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 that can push out up to 321 AI tops. And that means that this computer is simply a powerhouse for AI applications. And I'm going to show you a couple of the ways that having the NPU and AI in general in the Stealth 16 AI Plus has simply transformed my workflow. So the great thing with this Stealth line is that it is brilliant for both productivity and gaming. Too often computers only focus on one thing or the other, but with this display that's both fast and color accurate, and since it's got an exciting but also subtle design, we can really have the best of both worlds. Let's take a look at Lightroom first, for instance, the tool of just about every single photographer that I've ever met. And while on the surface, this is just an application for organizing and lightly editing your photos, over the past year, Lightroom has received a bunch of AI tools that really are quite mind-blowing. So as we can see over here, I've imported a variety of photos that I've taken from my Olympus camera. Let's take a look at this image of me. And I mean, it's okay, but it could be better. So what I'm going to show you is this new lens blur tool that uses AI to allow you to change how shallow the depth of field is. So what's happening here is that it's creating a depth map of the 2D image. And as you can see, I can now adjust how much or how little depth of field I want. And I can even adjust how the out of focus elements look like. It really is quite tremendous. And now it looks like as I've shot this image on a far more expensive camera rather than my little Olympus. But how about an image that is just too far gone? Like look at this image. I used the sensor crop feature on the Olympus. So I was literally cropping two times into an already small micro four thirds image sensor. And luckily there is an AID noise tool that we can use. So let's give that a go. We can adjust how much denoise there is. Let's just go with the maximum to see how that looks like. And wow, that is kind of incredible. It's so much improved. And it looks like that I took it on a far more expensive camera and lens combination than I actually did now. So that is how AI can transform your professional image editing workflow. But how about video editing? Quite often when I edit a video, I just wish that the video clip was just one or two seconds longer. Inside the new beta version of Premiere Pro, there is a new option that uses the power of AI to actually extend the footage. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to take this video over here. I mean, it's a great shot, but we just need a few more seconds of it. So what I'm going to do is press this little button down here. It looks like a, a, a sparkly magic wand thing. And then I can use this to click and drag to extend my video. And what it does here is that it uses the neural processing unit to generate entirely new frames. And after just a short wait, here it is. So as we can see here, after the tablet stops scrolling, we can see that it extended the footage by uh, just moving my thumb a little bit, which actually looks remarkably realistic. This could be so transformative for so many different situations and possibly even save a costly reshoot. And finally, I just want to touch upon gaming. So I think that we all know that the Stealth is an absolute beast for gaming. Let me show you what I mean. Now this is the latest Forza Motorsport title and it is a really demanding game because it makes ample use of ray traced reflections, which basically means that cars can reflect themselves onto other cars and it just looks a lot more realistic. 
However, it's also extremely resource intensive. However, with the help of Nvidia's AI DLSS, which comes with this RTX 4070 graphics chip, we are able to actually use AI to create additional frames and even improve image quality. How it works is that the DLSS analyzes sequential frames and also the data from the motion to create additional frames that would exist if this was a faster computer. It's a little bit like the technique of tweening in traditional animation where you would just create the keyframes and then other less talented animators would just fill in the frames in between. So that vastly improves the frame rate. And there are also techniques like DLSS ray reconstruction over here that creates additional pixels for intensive ray traced scenes so that you don't need to create the most high quality ray traced reflections to begin with. And in addition to that, there's also DLSS super resolution, which literally creates additional pixels, which means that you can get a far higher quality image than what your CPU and GPU can traditionally create. And as you can see here in this footage, I am driving my Jaguar around Suzuka at 120 frames a second on a laptop, and it looks really good and feels fantastic. Assuming that I wasn't using keyboard controls though. Anyway, now if you are into games like Diablo 4, we can see just how impressive the lighting looks as I move my character around at the very start of the game. Yep, I think you can tell that I'm more into my racing games than whatever type of game Diablo is. Despite that, it's also impressive how great the image quality is for such a slim and light laptop. And the best thing is, is that if you are like me and you haven't tried Diablo yet, if you buy the Stealth Series MSI laptop up until the end of December 2024, you will receive a full version of Diablo 4 worth 70 US dollars completely free of charge. Links in the description. So there we go. If you don't have an AI capable laptop, then these are the features that you are missing out on. From image creation to efficient webcam background blur, denoising images and even creating new frames in videos and video games. These are the features that developers have created for AI so far. And this is only the start in how AI is transforming the workflows both in the office and in creative fields. Huge thanks to MSI for sponsoring this video. And if you want to learn more about these laptops and how AI can improve your workflows, check out the links in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech videos as well. And until next time, toodaloo.